Greetings, and welcome to the Game Hobbit. Today we are covering the Bewitchment mod by Sunkener11. Bewitchment is a witch-based magic mod, giving you all sorts of devices and sorcery to play around with, from flying on broomsticks to brewing new potions. Aiming to be a successor to the Witchery mod, Bewitchment does have some features which are familiar, but are given their own twists to make them a bit unique. To start your career as a witch, you should first craft yourself the Book of Shadows. To get this, you will need to plant some mandrake and hellbore seeds, which can drop by simply breaking grass. After reaching full maturity, harvest them to receive mandrake roots and hellbores. Combining the two with a book and an ink sack will craft the Book of Shadows. With this book, you will know everything this mod has to offer, including but not limited to rituals, brewing, and more. As well as this, you should also gather some extra resources which are required to progress further in the mod including clay, silver and salt ores, and elder wood. With the Book of Shadows crafted, and having some various materials at your disposal, you should then seek to create the many devices to proceed with your sorcery. Initiating the start to a witch's schemes, witch ovens act in the same way furnaces do. However, they can also collect byproducts from smelting items, which is needed in advancing your witchcraft. These byproducts have a chance to be made from smelting either saplings or mob drops, However, you will need jars placed in the oven to be able to receive plant byproducts. Perhaps the most important piece of your setup, which alters disperses power in the form of magical energy, or ME, to your devices, as well as powering up rituals. Making it is fairly straightforward, requiring riches altar blocks to be placed in a 2x3 area, and a piece of carpet. All altars when built will start with zero power, and have a base recharge rate of 1 which can be viewed by right-clicking it with an empty hand. For your altar to receive power, flora must be placed in a 32 block radius. The more diverse the flora is, the more power the altar will receive. Altars can also be supplied with modifiers to provide additional boosts to the total and recharge rate of ME. These modifiers are grouped into four categories. Cups are able to store a small amount of ME, increasing the base ME within the altar, which include goblets, flower pots, and bottles. Swords also boost the total ME of the altar. Swords that are made from rarer materials and the Athame dagger contributes the highest amount. Grouped together into one modifier, wands and lighting add additional ME, with wands giving off the highest value, whilst light sources are a cheaper, less effective option. Pentacles increases the recharge rate of ME, which can be boosted by using either heads, precious gems, and wicked items like a demon heart. Requiring blaze powder and power from a witch altar, distillers combine various essences and ingredients into complex extracts that are used for more important witchcraft, including the summoning of demons, the creation of cold iron, statues, poppets, and more. Being one of the more cheaper devices, spinning wheels are the means of creating magical threads, also requiring power by the altar. With these threads, you can infuse them with essence to create stronger witch clothing, as well as being used for other means of witchcraft. Witch cauldrons behave in a similar fashion to brewing stands, requiring both a heat source below it and must be powered by an altar to function. Cauldrons can be used for creating various items which can be used to make yourself more powerful or for letting you prepare for rituals. Potions from vanilla and new potions can be brewed in a cauldron requiring a mandrake root to be thrown in before adding in your ingredient. The more of the ingredient you add, the more ME will be consumed. Cauldrons can also be used to make chalk, that is required for rituals, acts as a trash can by filling it with lava, and perhaps the most unique usage, teleport between cauldrons. Throwing dimensional sand in the cauldron lets the player teleport to other cauldrons when they're standing in it. To teleport, have the cauldrons named by a name tag, and type said name into chat. Braziers burn reagents that give off varying incenses, providing some positive effects to the player. Incenses all require dragon resin, followed by the mixture of herbs and essences and the lighting of the brazier for the incense to be burned. To receive the effects, however, you must sleep within the smoke that is emitted by the brazier. Sigil tables are a means of letting you craft sigils that can cause either positive or negative effects to any mob that steps on them. To be able to receive the effects yourself, you will need to tag lock yourself by using it when sleeping. Take that item and use it on the sigil you want, and you should receive the effects shortly after. 
Compared to Prezies and the other's devices, sigils tend to have a shorter area of effect, and can be quirky at times when applying the effects on yourself. With these devices established, you'll be able to perform rituals. Being one of the core aspects of the mod, rituals will allow you to alter the world around you. Each ritual, however, requires glyph circles of varying sizes and colours to be drawn on the ground, using chalk, with the centre of the circle to have a gold glyph drawn. Once you've gathered your ingredients for said ritual, you must place them on the gold glyph. Before you start, you must have enough ME for the ritual to initiate, and to keep it running until it's ended, otherwise the ritual will interrupt itself. Rituals offer various effects to both the player and to the world around them, such as speeding up the time, changing the weather, or conjuring supernatural beings. Bewitchment also offers a darker side of witchcraft. To access this for yourself, you must obtain the Codex Infernalis, a book that is found only within nether fortresses. In this book, it contains many foul practices of demonologists, involving the summoning and bartering of lesser and higher demons, inflicting curses upon your foes, and various demon oddities and gear. Some of the pages, however, will require discovery for yourself. To complement Bewitchment, the mod adds in some extra features to spice up your world. New blocks and light sources can offer some new options for decorating or lighting up your areas. New animals and supernatural beings have been added, with some being tameable, whilst others can be traded with. Various kinds of charms can be crafted, given the wearer positive effects when worn, and more. For being a successor to witchery, Bewitchment does a good job of bringing back some of the key features which made witchery, but yet making them unique in their own way. The vast amount of things that are added will keep you occupied when diving into this mod. Most of the devices have a role to play throughout, and although the process to get into the end game requires many resources, the end result is worth it. If you ever sought for a magic mod to pursue, then Bewitchment is the mod to get. Thanks to Sunkanur11 for making this neat magic mod, and link to download it is in the description below. That is all for today. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.